as a Swede, snow is a part of my everyday life, especially in winter, well, not the summer. But that also means that I really like snow. And what do you, does a lot do a lot of people like doing in snow? Motorsports, especially rally. But in sim racing, or I should more specifically say circuit sim racing, as in Otsetto Corsa Competizione and similar sims, should they add snow? That's the question I'm going to answer today. And how we're going to do it is we're going into Project Cars 2, loading up some cars which should probably not drive in snow, and see how they handle. And just a little caution, as it is Project Cars 2, the physics will not be perfect, but hopefully we'll see it goes well. So let us go into Project Cars 2. Okay, so now we're going. You can see we're in blizzard conditions. Oh wait, let us me just check. What tires do we have? Because in, for example, if we check, okay, so let's say ice. Let's put ice tires. And now let's go and see. Still quite slippery. And you can see the traction control kicking in. Probably we should go, okay, so I can't see. I can't see what traction control I have, but let's just hope I have. Wait, we go back. Okay, so now I probably have it on. And as you can see, it's very slippery. And you probably can't see, but the circuit I have driving on is Silverstone. So we'll see how it goes. And obviously this isn't fully realistic, but if you want to have a lot of fun, that is wh why I would like, like it. And... Yeah, as you can see, it's very slippery. So the obvious argument is that it's not very realistic to have racing in the snow, which I can understand. But if you have like rally cross, then it's realistic. And at certain circuits, there might be snow on the side, but not when you're driving. But otherwise, there aren't many counter or there aren't many arguments for why snow shouldn't be in it except that you wouldn't race in it aha uh -huh. need to move it forwards then but what you can do is practice drifting with the the st it the car likes to snap a lot. So it's a very slippery surface, and you can have a lot of fun on it. But obviously, you have to think about the weather or the grip. So I think snow could be. Quite a good tool in sim racing to learn about the limits because you have rain obviously, but that's not well at least in AMS2 it feels like yes you have the car is a bit harder to steer, but it's not like super hard. And that will probably change in the soon future, maybe in the close future with 1.5 hopefully. That you have wet lines and so. But for now you don't. So what I'm saying is that. in Driving in tricky situations. Can help your awareness. And your limit. Because if you. Like now there you could see. I'm just braking. And ju just sliding. So learning the limit. Can be good. In snow. 
And then as I said before, you have rally cross in the snow, which we can visit. But at least in circuit racing, I see the point why a lot of people might disagree with me, saying that snow is not good. But I don't see why it shouldn't be added, because it could be used as a learning tool and having a lot of fun. But now, let's get into doing some rally cross in snow. So now we are driving on snow. And then after this, I think we should drive a bit in on ice, which I just saw you could do. But let us just try and figure this out. But obviously, you want snow in rallycross because that's quite a bit hard thing to do because normally it's just dirt in rallycross. But having snow and ice can add quite a bit of fun. So as you see here, the car is sliding and having quite a lot of fun. So let us try scan the flick there, didn't work so well. But it's quite fun. Then through the joker. Okay, so through here, at this circuit, it, does, uh, it doesn't simulate. Well, it did simulate this now, but probably this car, this car is less prone to it. So you can see, it's a lot of fun driving. Then if you brake too hard, you lock the fronts up and you will just slide, which is obviously not good. Which is what I'm doing. But at least you should see you can catch, you can go, you can have quite a bit of fun in the snow when riding rally cross. And obviously if you don't go off the track. But I feel like that's just shows that maybe it's you need a proper snow circuit for doing rally cross not what I have now so let's head to the ice circuit and see how it feels there so now we are at the snow circuit and as you can see it I have quite a bit of grip until I lose grip so that's the thing with like ice tires with spike tires that you have a ton of grip but when you're pushing over that traction that you have and you're trying to extract too much from it you will just end up losing a ton because like in circuit racing with asphalt you can easily just try you can easily just gain back what you have lost whilst in here you have to really just be gentle with the car So you can see here, just taking doing a, a few laps, and then let us just do, just try and push the rear out a bit, which is so there. And there I asked a bit too much from the rear, which just shows you. That you're trying, you're treading a fine line to seeing how how much traction you can actually get. But what happens if I try and clutch? If I just drop the clutch? Oh well, not what I was thinking because I don't fully understand. I didn't fully do it correctly. It seems. And I am stuck, it seems. So. 
well, I've gotten stuck. So let's actually go to something and try something which I actually have done in real life in snow. And that is go-karting. So, to make it as close to life as what I have done, is we are trying snow with normal tires on. And, yeah, the rear really wants to step out. But this is not as much snow as I have actually driven through. Which was a bit insane then. Because I was driving... I was driving uh, quite a lot. Or I was driving through like a, a decimeter of snow. Which is roughly 4 inches. And then obviously braking. You wouldn't lose the rear as much as it does here. You would mostly just go... You would mostly just lock the fronts, not the rears, but this might just have rear brakes, I'm not sure. And then when you go on the throttle, you just go like a little bit. There was a fine line between actual traction and no traction. Which we... which was quite the fun to do. Because you were just drifting on the straights, so you like... You could do some drifting without hopefully the owners of the carty circuit getting angry because they always got angry when you drifted. So you can see here you can catch slides quite easily. Let's drift through here. Okay, so I did a successful drift. But not there. But what's something else you can do in solo and have a lot of fun with is doing donuts. But what's those weird things? Oh, it must be like eye simulation on the helmet or something. I don't know. But... Yeah. Snow is, in my opinion, a very good addition to any racing game. You can have a lot of fun. You don't have to be super skilled. And it, you can actually learn a lot about driving when going in snow. So I think it's a very good addition to any sim. What do you think? Comment it, comment it down below. And once you're done, also hit the like button and also subscribe. And my next video will might be on AMS2 or something different because AMS2 just released a dev update as of recording this. And they have, have a lot of different interesting uh, things coming in to the sim, but I don't they aren't coming in anytime soon. So I'll probably just find something to do. But until then. I'll be a racing legend. You'll be my amazing viewers. Thank you for watching. Good. Bye.